<sighs> so, what's been going on? Absolutely nothing! Ha <laughs> ha! Things are slowly changing though. Very fucking slowly. Um. Oh, dearie me. That is a problem. I will address that later. It's a bit naughty, really. I haven't done my pocket up. Either that or the buttons come off. Either way, it's a problem. To be resolved. Um. So yeah, things are changing very fucking slowly. Uh, the UK is halfway, well, past halfway, to everyone having their first dose. Uh, I think they were up to something like 39 million the other day for first doses and 49 million doses total. Well done, UK, well done. Um, Lockdown was eased slightly on the 12th of April. It is now the... I don't even fucking know what it is today, because I'm that out of touch with the world. Uh, I have just come from a two-week routine of doing just nights, on and off, like every two days sort of thing. I gotta be honest, my brain is scrambled to fuck. I don't know which way's up half the time. April has decided to be a dick weather-wise. It is absolutely freezing. But through the day we've been having heat wave conditions. Temporarily, of course. So the weather in the UK is absolutely off its tits again. Like right now I can't feel my fingers because it's so fucking cold. True fucking story. Ow. So that's where we're up to in the UK at the moment. It's cold as shit and there's fuck all we can do about it. So there we go. Um, let us see. Let us see. But yeah, apart from lockdown being eased, the weather being absolute shite, but also amazing, which is really weird. Like through the day, oh my god, it's been lovely, it's been warm, it's been sunny, dry, good riding conditions, it's just a shame I've been so busy. Um, and now here we are, like this. It is half past five in the morning, I'm freezing my fingers off. Not fun. Not fun at all. Oh, it hurts to use them. Um. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. <sighs> Is there anything else to talk about? It doesn't feel like it. Literally, everything's been fucked by COVID. Um, I had an airsoft game booked, the government changed its rules just before the game, about a week before. <laughs> Fucking bastards. It was all set to go ahead, England was okay, Wales was still being a bit of a funny fucker with everybody, but, you know, that's the way they are. And it was all set to go ahead, the game, and then the, the English government said, nah, actually, no, outside sporting events are not allowed anymore until the 12th of April, which is which was two days after uh, the, the, the game date. So I was like, fuck, and they cancelled the game. You know, legally they had to. I don't blame the venue, but fuck, that pissed me off. 
I was like so hyped and geared up, ready to go. It was a couple of days away, I'd made arrangements, I'd, sh I'd sh swap shift. That's why I was on nights constantly, because I'd swap shifts with somebody to make sure I'd be available for that game. Fucking livid with it, because then I, I was just stuck, like, not going, because there's fuck all you can do at that point. So, no airsoft jet, which is a bit of a dick punch, but I've got all the shit now, so all I've got to do is wait for a game to be on, and I can go to it. Ha! Just a question of when that'll fucking be. Will I be off work? Because at the moment I'm working weekends. Today is a Saturday. <sighs> fucking shite. <laughs> Oopsie. Has there been any other development? Um, no, sadly not. Uh, Britain has just been excessively busy with home life still. Um, and with lockdown and we eased and not completely off. I haven't seen the need to go anywhere. Like I say, the kids have been off school the last week, so that's been taking a lot of my focus. Um, did do a lot of gardening, though. And by a lot, I mean I went outside and I looked at it, so... Yeah, no, I helped the missus do some planting. Uh, we're doing vegetables still, so... It's this time of year that you got to start sowing seeds and waiting for your crop to come through and shit like that. So I gave her a hand doing some of that, did a little bit of pot maintenance and some other things. We've, she wants flower beds out front, so we were doing that. Oh, sign's gone. Whoops. Um, so yeah, just a lot of that sort of stuff really, just taking time to do things with the missus and the family. You know, we had a great day outside the other day, we made a little tent. We had dinner outside, then a wasp scared my eldest, so we ran inside the house. You know, just that sort of thing. Family time. Um, I would love to say there's stuff coming on the channel. I'd love to say that I've got ideas and that stuff's coming, but I can't say anything yet, because I don't know. I literally do not know what's going to happen next week, what's going to happen next month. So I'm hesitant to say anything because I simply don't know. All I can say is that if I do put stuff, stuff out, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I make reasonable content for you guys. And if you don't like it, just stick around because there will be other stuff. <gasps> there may even be some stuff about having my fingers taken off because this is fucking torture. Jesus. Mm. Water treatment. Yummy. That smells great. Um, but yeah, ah! but yeah, all I can say is I've got ideas, but I'm not going to discuss them yet because I simply don't know what's going to be happening. I don't know what the British government's going to be doing regarding lockdowns and other things. Because um, some of the content I want to do is collab style, but obviously I can't do that until we're allowed within a few feet of each other. Um... You know, it's just that sort of thing at the moment. Also, I don't know when they'll be available. I'll probably do a few vlogs to and from Airsoft and that sort of thing. Give you guys a little look into that world. Oh yeah. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> really nothing much I can say about anything at the moment because of the nature of things. Oh, I was hesitant to talk about airsoft in one of my old videos. I spoke about it and the fucker got cancelled so I cried like a little girl.
<laughs> Thank you, Dean. That's fucking funny. <laughs> the guy I used to work with. Dean, as he's formerly known. <laughs> what are the odds? Well, I'd say hi, considering he lives around here and I live up ahead. Oh dear, people you run into.